Does your A320 look like this? Or possibly like this? Well, if it does, then you are at the right place because I'm going to cover a couple of things you can do in order to fix this. So if your A320 looks like this, there are two things that I'll be going over in order to possibly fix this for you. These are the two most common issues that occur when uh, people report this issue. So for the first issue, or for the first reason that people have this issue is we can take a look in two different versions again. So first thing is we can take a look at the log which is located under the main explain folder. So taking a look at the log, um, you can see some information and just hit, uh, if you're in Windows, hit Control F and look for CEF, which is the plugin used uh, for the A320. If you see that, now this does not count because it's part of something else, but if you do not see, for example, for my case, it has not found anything with CEF. If you don't find a plugin called CEF, then the issue is 100% that the CEF plugin is missing in your plugins folder. If that's the case, the next thing we can take a look at is go to resources from explain folder, plugins and checking if the CEF truly is missing. If it is, which it is, that means you need to reinstall the aircraft, making sure that CEF is installed properly. Once it is, reopen Xplane and it should work. Once the download has completed, go ahead and open it up with any software you use to unzip. And once you've opened them, you'll have two different folders, one called resources, one called aircraft. It is very simple from now on. You can either extract those two directly into your Xplane 11 folder, or if you don't have any software that is capable of doing so, extract these two folders onto your desktop, so resources and aircraft, and then drag and drop them into your main Xplane 11 folder. That is your pretty much just Xplane folder, no other folder, no subfolders, just directly into Xplane 11. And the aircraft should be loaded up. I would then suggest to update the aircraft, making sure you're on the latest version. Um, you can do that via the X updater, which will then be included also in your A320 installation. So go to explain aircraft, A320 ultimate, and it should be here. We will be discussing more on X updater and how to use it properly in another video, but this is where you can locate it in case you already know how to use it. Here's the example of where the CEF is properly installed in the plugins folder. So now your A220 should work just as normal. All right, so, so the second most common problem that has occurred to people in the past with uh, the blue, sorry, the green screens on the A320 is error code 1114. Error code means that there are too many uh, plugins calling the same DLL, which means that basically in simple terms, I explain is running too many plugins that I can't handle. I'm just gonna show you how to know if it's if you have this error on your system and uh, how to fix it. Pretty simple stuff, just go back to your log file now. This is not mine, this is from somebody else's and I try to find one um, calling to the A320 but um, it's been very hard to find. So we're just taking a look at this for now and really simple, like I said before, uh, Command F or Control F and looking for 1114. Just look it up and you'll see, you'll know if you're at the right place um, once you find a text saying error code equals 1114. That's, no, that's how you know you're at the right place. And you just take a look at what it is. Technically, you don't even have to look at what it is. As long as you know that you have error code 1114, you know exactly what you need to do next. And that is to remove any plugins uh, in your plugins folder, see if it works. Then I would recommend starting off with every single one of them. So just remove all of them into the into your desktop or wherever you want it want to store them temporarily. Open up the aircraft and see if it works. Then, if it doesn't work, then I would, in, in addition to that, also look at your log, log file again. Take a look at any airports that have possibly have ground traffic plugins installed, which many airports do, especially from Mr. X and. Some other very popular thing uh airports out there and they are probably the most common cause for causing uh, 1114 errors so take a look at airports that have these 
ground traffic plugins something like this it looks exactly like this ground traffic 64 windows or, or maybe even mac but uh if your your uh scenery has this try to remove all the sceneries that have that or as many as you can if it works then if it works then you can go ahead and put your plugins back into your plugins folder and see if it works then um normally just removing the airports is a good idea as well and that should work fine or at least the plugins in the airports folder um, so you'll just remove the pl uh, the uh the plugins folder from that airport scenery or that seat custom scenery that you have and it should work if you don't care about ground traffic too much that's up to you just make just all you need to know is that error code has to do with your plugins remove a few see if it works then if it doesn't remove more and then uh, once it starts working again you know all right um, you can start to add more plugins back into your system wh whichever you think is more important until you have that error again of course you want to avoid it so you, know, you have to uh, unload a few plugins all right so if those two problems or those two reasons have helped you fix the problem with your 8 20 then obviously it should look something like this and i wish you a very good flight and uh we'll see you in the next video